Good morning. I'm in my lounge suit. Well, why not? I've already taken my meds today and had my coffee. I've got a mouthful left. Mm. Might just have another one soon. It's 20 past 10. I really need to sleep this morning, apparently. I'm now currently bagging up, like putting into little baggies, all the stuff from yesterday's uh, sparkly things video and I had a phone call today. I was meant to be getting my lips done today. As in, um, I have the tiniest little amount of lip fillers, um, top and bottom, and then a little bit in there so that it doesn't go in so much. It kind of goes like that a bit more. But unfortunately, my dentist is a bit ill. And I was a little bit like, well, that's ruined my plans, like on the phone to them, can be completely selfish. Um, Cause actually, like she's really lovely. And, but I was just like, <laughs> but I had plans. And now I've confused myself and I've got to look at my diary and like I pre prepared for today. And uh, now I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Anyways, so what I am going to do is stay in my loungewear all day. I'm going to sort out this little bit of jewellery. I've got some posts to do, which I'll just arrange to have picked up tomorrow because I'm trying to conserve people energy. And I am going to do my calendars, obviously, which you will see soon. And that's probably about it. Oh, I might show you what's going on today as well. Oh, and also I've got some thanks to people, but um, I better just check and make sure that I've got everyone because I don't want to miss anyone out. Yes. I'll be back with you soon anyway. Answer me, Biscuits. What are you doing? Huh? You think that bag is for you? It's all your presents. I'm surprised you haven't ruined the tree yet. No, because you're a good girl, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at it out there. Kind of glad I'm not going anywhere today. Hello. It's a few hours later now. I've done some, like, pottering and stuff. Still not dressed. I'm not going to get dressed today. But I've got together my orders at least. Um, and someone is about to pay, I think, for a dress, which means I've got to go outside into the garage again in a minute. Don't like it, it's all cold out there. Anyways, so this is what's going out today. I'm going to do my parcel soon. For £7, this little pair of earrings with a little green ball on them, they're quite nice. And then for twelve ninety nine, these um, ethnic ones, which have got like some um, pearl quartz, coral and blue crystal on them which are quite pretty yeah, 12 99 for those ones some cufflinks for seven pounds some like toledo damascene ones this oh no um this jacket we play 90s jacket 3.99 plus post obviously a vintage Purple velvet skirt, £14.39. This pilgrim little jangly charm necklace, £8. Vintage floral enamel brooch, £6. This little vintage barouche skirt, uh, sorry, dress, um, £7.50. I've had it forever, that one. A sterling silver little coiled dragon clip on charm, £9. This lovely money. Hinged bangle, £13. A sterling silver and dichroic glass necklace. That's got some really cool colours in it. That's got nice. £11.99. This peacock feather brooch, £7.99. A camphor glass dress clip or shoe clip, £5.99. A jar block of year 2000 key rings. I'm reckoning someone's going to do something crafty with that. Took an offer of £3.50 on them, plus post, because I figure, you know, there's been no interest so far. They can have them. £11.19 for this little Swarovski, um, they're like little Swarovski cubes on earrings and necklace. And then £22.78 for the little sparkly flower necklace and then this little gold for me 
band ring. And then over on Etsy, I've sold this little heart padlock um, bracelet and then this lovely little Marquis cut turquoise ring. So yeah, I'm gonna package all of these up now. Stopping for a bit of lunch now. Well, I've stopped actually. I've got no more posts to do for now. So I'm having a slice of keto bread, a fried egg, and those are some slices of, you know, a Matteson sausage uh, with some sugar-free uh, brown sauce. Yum, yum. Calendar time. So a very merry and vlogmas, and vlogmas, and vlogmas to you and you, and you, and you, and you. Um, okay, I'm going to start with the makeup one because we know, don't we, what was in number four because it fell out. So, we know that it is a makeup brush, but it's a nice one. It's a double ender. Ooh, saucy. Um, I'm going to... Carla was on about like taking the doors off the box, off the things, and I'm going to do the same. There we go doors off the boxes um but it's a very pretty makeup brush it's nice with the green and it's very nice and soft and i do need new makeup brushes so that's good i shall use that one i like next let's do elisa calendar so we want day seven on there don't we um i can see 17 9 14, 12, all of the numbers. There's number seven. It's right at the bottom, or nearly right at the bottom. So we've got some kind of packet of something today. Got a packet of something. Oh, low carb chocolate drops. Now, there was a cookie mix the other day. Oh, I could make chocolate chip cookies, couldn't I? At some point, I don't need them today, but that's good. So low carb, chalky drops. Excellent. Right, now let's do smelly one. You remember that's number nine. Gotta remember that folks, that is number seven. I think that was mum sneezing or farting, I'm not quite sure. A very loud fart if it was. How rude. Right, pretty pink today, nice little box. Is this going to be a Reet Posh one? <laughs> We've got Meow by Katy Perry. Now, I think I've actually owned this perfume because it had a cat shaped box, bottle, and um, it was all right. Let's have a little spritz it. It is quite nice, actually. For a celebrity perfume, I mean, I, you don't expect great, you know, quality from a celebrity perfume, but you always, smell, like, expect it to smell, you know, sweet and fruity and just pleasant. And, yeah, that's all right. Um, the box, the, the bottle that I had for it was um, a purple one. And it's quite pretty. So there you go. Right, so we do Ashley challenge. Um, well, we got, oh, that's a pretty one. Look at that, we've got a little stag's head. Isn't that nice? Okay, it says team up with a friend, put on a Santa hat. Oh, do I own a Santa hat? I don't think I do. And go litter picking in your local area. Remember to wear gloves. Now I did buy a little while ago, one of those, little litter picking grabby things 
So I could do that at some point. I'll do it after bin day because they tend to leave, you know, some messy bits around. So yeah, there you go. I'll do it after bin day. There we are. Oh, I've got to take one of these down first. I'm like, right, there's number seven. There's seven. Oh no. I'm gonna pop this there. Very pretty. See, I'm liking it now. It's like the pictures are changing on there. That's quite cool, isn't it? Oh, we're back to a chilly dark chocolate Santa. So there's probably going to be repetition now. Do I want to eat this one now? I might save that one for a treat later. And then last, but absolutely by no means least, we've got the Shalinda, the Shalinda, the Shalinda of awesomeness. There we got this. Who knows? Who knows? Let's see. What will it be? Oh. Oh, oh, it looks like maybe a nail polish. It is. Oh, that's a glorious color. Look at that. Somewhere between red and very dark pink. That's lovely. Nailberry Paris London L'Oxygen Oxygenated Nail Lacquer. Oh, that is such a nice color. Lovely, thank you. I shall have to do that soon. That is glorious, isn't it? Look at that. That's a beautiful color. Excuse my actual thingy nails. It's the thing of handling jewelry all the time, I'm afraid. They get to be a little bit, you know. Mm. Yes. Right, I think that's actually gonna be it for me for today. I was, like I said earlier, meant to be going out to get my lips done and I was gonna, you know, go around town and stuff. But seeing as I don't have to now, or seeing as that's not happening now until next week, um, I'm going to stay in and maybe put on a film. I do have to go into town tomorrow, and at some point I really should kind of do some listing, but I also just don't want to. So there is that. <laughs> I know, it's very naughty of me, but hey-ho. Anyways, I am going to leave you with a little pre-record of something. And that is my Lush haul from the other week, from when I went shopping in Cardiff. The person has since, or one of the gifts, has since been given, so I guess I'm sort of a bit freer to be able to, to show you anyway. But yeah, so enjoy, and I shall catch you tomorrow. So a uh, bye-bye now, bye-bye. Hello. Well, here's a video, pay attention, that I don't normally do. I've never done one of these before. Um, in fact, I don't think I've ever shopped in this place before. Um, Lush. Um, because it's always looked a little bit scary to me. As in, like, there's lots of people and smells and things that are like, am I allowed to touch this? And then people keep coming up to you and going like, I like your hair. And I go, oh, thank you very much. Okay. I like your coat. Okay, thank you. Did you need any help today? No, no, I'm fine. I'm just looking. Okay. Like, hmm, it's a little bit of an intimidating, overwhelming place. Especially, with, like, with all the smells and stuff. Like, I find going into sweet shops and things quite overwhelming, scent-wise. And so, Lush was very much... Uh, there was glitter in the air and stuff. And, whew, anyway, I still managed to spend £84.40 in there. Go figure. I genuinely only went in to buy, like a secret Santa gift and maybe like some shampoo and that was it 84 pound later god they get you don't they anyways so what I did buy for seven pounds fifty was this bag it's a nice jute bag and obviously it's going to smell absolutely lovely now but that I'm going to give to someone um as part of their Christmas present so that's nice. I know a few people that are obviously against animal testing and things like that. So that's nice. And a little jute bag like that, always good. So yes, that was, um, was it £7.50? 
50 seven pounds 95 sorry that one what was seven pounds 50 which you know when you look at it and you go seven pound 50 seriously i just spent seven pound 50 on that on this cork it's like a soap keeper thing now i did buy like that comes separately that doesn't even come with this i feel a bit duped right now i was just in the moment anyway this um was seven pounds fifty and then the inside which to be fair oh it does smell absolutely beautiful Mm. This is a coconut rice shampoo bar, and this was eight pounds just for that bit, and seven pounds fifty for that. So that's fifteen pounds fifty for some freaking shampoo and a thing to keep it in. This is why we're not into recycling as much as we should be, because you know, this this not having stuff in plastic thing is really bloody expensive. But anyway, anyway, it's nice, and to be fair. It does smell really nice and then obviously you can just buy a new one and put it in there and it's only because of that thing on top that this thing doesn't close i wanted the little thingy on top anyway yes this is what i actually went in for um this is the secret santa gift i'm gonna take that off there this was nine pounds even though like the secret santa limit is five pounds what can you get for five pounds Nothing in Lush, that's for sure. Oh no, I have got something that's five pounds ninety-five. I could I could just do that and keep this one. Anyways, but I thought this has got such cute wrap. It's because I like the wrapping paper on it, like with the polar bears and lollipops and stuff. I thought that was cute. So yeah, this was nine pounds, and it's got a butter bear bath bomb and a snow fairy roll bubble bar. So it's got those two things in it. So I'm going to take that off, redo the bow on top, and then that will be my secret Santa gift for the girls from school. The girls, you know, the girls. So, yes, there we go. Um, this is the bath bomb that I've got. I haven't worked out who's having this. Mum doesn't like bath bombs, so Mum's not getting it. I could give it to my sister. Um but probably not. Anyways, this is a golden Christmas pudding. Again, does smell really nice. They are huge though, they're huge. You don't use a whole one, do you? I mean, you don't need a whole one. Got a glitter, gold glitter, all in the air. <gasps> Asmi, if I stroke you, oh, you've got glitter on you. Oh, you pretty kitty. Yeah, so may maybe, maybe I'll have that one for myself. Maybe, we'll see. We'll see. It doesn't all have to be presents for other people. I can have things for me too. Right, what is a present? This is for my mum. She's watching telly though, it's okay. So this is some um, Helping Hands Hang Cream. Hard working pot of creamy fair cherried organic cocoa butter and hydrating honey will nurse your hands back to health. How much was this? This was nine pounds, which to be fair is cheaper than an Occitan ones that I normally get. That smells quite nice. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. And I suppose these ones, they like they're refillable, aren't they? Like you can take in your pots and refill them. I'm guessing. I'm not entirely sure how Lush works. I'm thinking that's probably the way. And then I got two of these because one of them will be a present for someone and then one of them again I might just keep because it smells really bloody lovely this is called posh chocolate body wash deliciously self-centered cocoa and hazelnut body wash body wash with aloe vera and glycerin to soften and hydrate delicate skin and these were eight pounds oh my god I I actually just want to get a spoon and eat that but I don't think like I'm really tempted to just go can I, does it taste nice? I mean, it really does smell so good. I'm guessing by the ingredients that probably not, though it does have cocoa powder in it, but probably shouldn't. But it does smell delightful. Asimi, you're giving me a little licky lick. Oh, you're giving me kisses. She's so cute. Um, And then I got 
two last things. <laughs> I got this because it sounds like fun, but plum duff. Now, isn't that a sort of another word for a Christmas pudding? Um, it says there's always room for pudding. Plumped up raisins and tangerine oil make this the king of sweet zesty lathers. Now that sounds really nice. That might be for like um, a household Christmas Eve box to have like, so not necessarily a present for anyone, but just to have in that, like a house present, you know? Oh yeah, that does smell nice. And it's purple. Look at that. It's not overly strong, but that does smell quite nice. And that was da 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 plum duff plum duff. Um, twelve pounds for some shower gel. Crikey! And then the last thing I got, um, which is for mum is some talc, but it's called Sleepy Dust. Dusting powder, botanical lavender, weave seamlessly with syrupy tonka wrapping around you like a heavy comfort blanket. So after your bath or shower, sprinkle yourself with delicate, soporific, sleepy dust for smooth, snooze-ready skin. There we go. Ingredients, tapioca starch. Um, and that was... Dum 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 dum. Nine pounds. Some talc. But that does smell really nice. So, stuff is lovely. This is very nice stuff. I'm still at a bit of a <laughs> as to how much I spent, um, considering I could probably get. Not exactly the same, but you know what I mean. Like if I wanted a shampoo, I can just go over the Texaco garage and spend three quid on a shampoo there. But anyway, that's not the point, is it? Yes. Quite happy with this haul though. I think everything I've got is is really, really nice. Happy with my Secret Santa gift and with the presents I got for other people and the potential presents I got for myself as well. So that's lovely. Right, and um. I know I'm wearing the same t-shirt that I was wearing on the 1st of December and I promise that it is a different day. No, um, this is pre-recorded on a different date to whatever today is. I'm cheating a little bit with the Vlogmas content. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you again probably tomorrow, but I have no idea what tomorrow is. Bye-bye <laughs> now, bye-bye.